Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Utopia Cubed, Age of Adventure. Hello guys, how are you all doing today? I am not doing so good actually. I'm kind of a little bit under the weather because, I don't know, because I just got randomly sick. Anyway guys, I have been busy. Um, I've started laying out the walls of uh, my castle actually. Let's turn it a little bit lower. It sounds really loud on me. Is it on my side? Probably not only on my side. Hostile. I think I had it at 15 or something. I don't know. Anyway, I have set up the walls. Oh, yeah. I know it looks really plain at the moment. But there are some cool stuff that will decorate uh, the walls. Okay. Um, I just wanted to say some warnings before i going to start with the real episode. Um... Uh, uh, as I already thought, I'm a little bit under the weather, so I will be cutting my, my sneezes and stuff like that, or randomly pause the video, because I needed to sneeze, so just a heads up for this episode. Maybe it's tomorrow over, because this episode is not going to be recorded all today, but uh, just a small heads up. Anyway, as I said, this isn't going. This is looking really plain for now. I do like the combo of these, like, uh, like... Uh, straight lines against those like more softened lines I really do like that this is going to be changed though uh, like there are some cool decoration mods in this mod pack so I'm thinking about doing some cool things on the walls and uh, the ceiling would uh, will get an arch arc and stuff like that I'm, I'm, I'm really stoked for the ideas I have um, the reason why I started building walls and floors because I had no idea where to start actually I was uh, I joined the world like yesterday I think and was wandering around for like almost an hour. I was talking with some other guys uh, via our IRC and stuff like that, but I couldn't build anything because I was I had no idea where to start. So I just decided to place down the walls and floors. So I'm 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 really if you can imagine like uh, I think we have a banner mod. Let's see. We have like uh, these banners. Let's see how expensive they are. They are not that expensive, really. Wall dispenser. I think we uh, dispenser. No, not dispenser. Banner, of course. We have these wall banners. Um, these will get on the walls. I have no idea how they work, but uh, I have seen some images of the mod, and they are looking amazing. So um, <clears throat> get ready for that. Uh, but first, I want to get the walls and the the roof done. It's going to be. I hope an awesome sight. I have no idea yet, but uh, we will come to that at some point for sure. Anyway, guys, uh, I will show you a little bit how everything looks. There's still no roof on it because that still needs to be planned, but I uh, just want to get the walls on it first. But I love already how this is looking. I already have solved the carpenter's wood uh, problem I have because I actually wanted to use dark oak. Uh, uh, planks here but I can't find them anywhere I need to do one more search but uh, I think I will do that on the live stream tomorrow and I think that would be for you I already have been uh, happen because I already have one episode in planning anyway guys um, yeah, this this is how this is looking I really like it I, I'm only not really sure about uh, this wall I almost feel like I almost feel like uh, this should be also shared brick, but I don't know, guys. Oh wow, my voice though. Uh, give me a second. I'm uh, sorry for that, guys. Anyway, uh, this is looking really cool yet. Uh, it looks a little bit cramped, but that's the feeling I went for this uh, area. For this room. This is, is going to be in cramped area, because this is going to be bulk storage. Mainly for my cobblestone uh, and other things that I like massively produce are mine. This is going to be dungeons or the prisons. I really love how this is looking already. Uh, it's it's a little bit light in here. I want to keep it a little bit dark. Maybe place down a redstone torch there or something like that. 
maybe I will add a secret uh, hideaway at the back. Uh, let's see. Maybe I will add a secret hideaway around here. Is that possible? Yeah, that's totally possible. I have no idea what I want to do there yet. I don't know. But we will see when I have uh, the walls on, actually. But that will uh, I do uh, basically off camera. I've also worked a little bit. Uh, I've also worked a little bit on this room. Uh, I have. I'm not totally sure about this yet because this is looking a little bit plain, as I said. Uh, I have to fill with it a little bit more. I didn't find this really appealing to me, but uh, we will see. We will see. This is just a work in progress. Um, I do need to. I uh, do need to go mining a little bit for iron for these chests because these are amazingly big. I have to say. Just love them. Let's see. I've also tried uh, already tried to record an episode where we're going to play with some. Uh, let's go to it first before I'm going to explain with some uh, Flexbeard Steam powered mod. But that's I don't know. I think I need to do. A, I think I'm going to do a tutorial about it because uh, I've looked up uh, tutorials, but they were for an older version of this mod for 1.6. I already really find some of 1.7, but those were more. Uh, short and not really informative uh, uh, they weren't spotlights basically so I'm, I'm planning to do I th maybe a, a flex beard steam power mod spotlight because I kind of want to share this mod because it's awesome I already understand when I fully understand why Nemson added this mod to the mod pack for sure so some steam boilers uh, this is a uh, what you call it? It is tech, but it it's not like a thermal expansion and stuff like that. You need to still automate it with vanilla, and that's kind of hard. It's possible though, but it's really awesome, I have to say. I already started also dressing up the Tomcraft room. I'm not really sure about these uh, bricks here, and I just saw something here that I really need to remove. Yeah, sometimes the blocks like. Uh, can I open this? Yeah, that's basically the things I need for the mod, uh, for the mod for a flexbeard steam powered mod. Let's see. I need a block really quick because I do want to get rid of this. You see here, there's like an extra layer on top of it. Yeah, that's kind of a little bit of annoying. You can place like an extra layer on top of the block to give it an extra texture on the but but uh, up the top side. I think I'm going to do that with wool, but I'm not totally sure about that. <coughs> anyway. Uh, this is also our area for today, people. I have prepared myself a bag for today's episode. Uh, the black bag was for a last uh, episode I tried to record but failed. And this bag is for today's episode. Uh, yeah, I can put that, in, uh, that one in there. Let's eat some bread. Yeah. So, guys, today's episode. We are going to start with Tomcraft. Oh yeah. I can't really wait to start with it. I am going to use a cheat sheet to sh get started with it. So I already prepared myself some stuff. So uh, first things first. I need myself a crafting table. <laughs> let's grab this one. Okay. And let's sleep for a bit. So I'm going to grab myself some more supplies and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, I have prepared myself a little bit more and um, I've crafted myself the iron cap wand that's basically like this, really simple, really basic and these iron caps are really cheap, just iron ingots, that's basically, if, if you have two, two iron you can basically start with Tomcraft, well you also need this thing but it's really cheap to make basically, anyway, uh, First things first, the first thing you need to do with this thing is, uh, the first thing you need to do overall with this mod is craft these two, these two things. And let's see if I can push the right button, yeah, craft three, three of these tables. Yeah, I know, it's really expensive. I don't know how many logs you need, but I think, I, I if I should think about, you need about 10 logs to start this with this mod, so it's really cheap, I have to say. So, uh, to start with this mod, you need to... Really, I forgot something. Uh, be right back. Okay, we are back. Um, I forgot this thing to cr uh, to craft the scribing tool. 
Um, if you have the table, you need to right click the table with this. Hopefully I do it on the right side. Yes, I do. I'll, I Since the beginning, I just straight up love this 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 thing. This, this is an amazing thing. Um, here you see some aspects and I will tell you about that a little later. Then, if you have done this, is it really already becoming night? Ugh. If you have uh, done this, you can just right click on the crafting table or on the table and you will make a Arkham work table. So basically you have prepared yourself to start with the mod. So and now you can get uh, go to do some scanning. Uh, nah, I can learn anything from that. Well, luckily there are the, you have the community to help you out with this. I'm going to explain how the community helps you out with uh, starting out with Tomcraft in a second. Okay, I'm now going to explain how the community helps you uh, with Tomcraft, or at least starting out with Tomcraft. Basically, the community have uh, made a list um, where you should start with uh, uh, with scanning because. If you start out with Tomcraft, you can't basically scan just all the things because if you see in the bottom uh, right corner, is uh, to understand this, you need to study the source of life. So I need to learn a little bit learn, uh, more. As you see, I just got some points of that. So you basically need to scan stuff to learn stuff and to scan other things. It's a little bit complicated, but. Um, if you do understand that aspect, this uh, this isn't really a tutorial, but this is more tip for you guys to follow this these guidelines because these will help you a lot with starting out Tomcraft. Anyway, let's get to it. Um, there's a list online made by Chaos K. Uh, it's basically the first research list. It's a list uh, in uh, that explains in what order you need to research the things. If you want to get all the aspects, because uh, the reason why I couldn't scan like grass, because I missed some aspects, and that's are these things. These things are aspects. If you don't have like, I do have air and uh, Terra in this case, but if you don't have air and Terra uh, to research, for example, grass, if you miss like Terra and you do have air, you basically can't research grass. Simple as that. Um, so there's a list online where you can uh, learn in what order you need to scan it. Uh, I have prepared a bag. Uh, all these items in the uh, top two rows are the orders you need to scan them in. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to start with a torch. You can uh, scan items on the ground. You can also place the torch on the wall and scan that. But I'm going to do it this way. If I first... Oh, I think I can do it on here. So let's go do it here. <laughs> because uh, uh, the carpenter's blocks, these ones, have a, a right-click functionality. So that means you have to throw them on the ground and scan them. And you see that gives me lux. And it also says in the bottom right corner, if I can grab something else then, I think, uh, you have discovered a clue to a new research, and that's basically lux. So now I've uh, studied lux, I'm going to continue to the next one. The list says, says stone, so I'm going to do stone. Uh, I don't know why I have to... I think I have to do cobblestone, but I already got uh, scanned cobblestone, so that's done. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, now I need coal. For, I think, yeah, potentia. Cool, cool, cool. Because I already had, like, fire, and uh, I could research uh, potentia, because I think if you combine two of things together. I think uh, Ignis and something else, you can get Potentia. Um, and now I need to scan a ball to get Fakius. I may um, butcher the names, but uh, that's how I'm going to say the names. <laughs> uh, so it's basically following these, list, uh, these things. Ooh, what did I do wrong? Oh yeah, before I can scan that seed, I first need to combine two aspects. Um, I'm going to do that now. Uh, also, another thing you can do is combining aspects. As I just said, you can click on this one, the first one, and then click on Terra and combine them. And as you see, I got life, Victus. Awesome, really cool. Uh, and if it's is everything is okay, I can now scan seeds. If they want to stay on the ground. 
Oh yeah, I got Herba. Cool, awesome. So uh, I am going to continue on scanning all the things, uh, at least the things I have in the list. So I can basically, um, when I have scanned uh, these things, like uh, I just said, like all the items and combined all the things, I can basically s start scanning the rest because if I fin have finished the list, um, all the other things are scannable basically. That's why the list is there. What do I miss? Trapdoor, Metallum. I think I missed something. I see, I see. I see what I miss. I first need to combine two things. Victus, so life. And pretty duo. And that was this one. And that gave me marches. Oh yeah. And now I need to scan Mossy Stone. Scan it. Oh yeah, and let's see if I can now scan and then it. No, okay, I think this list is a little bit outdated because it's from uh, uh, October 2013, so that's a while back, so yeah. So I'm going to continue on, I think I'm going to continue on scanning all the things. Yeah, as you see, I, there's something I need to study spirit, so um, I need some soul sand though, oh, dang it. Uh, I think I'm going to take care of that so I can scan all the things and I will see you guys when I've done that because it's quite boring I have to say so see you guys in a second all right guys in order to continue on the research list I first need to go to the nether so this is going to be the first time I'm going to the nether so um, I know there's coming a lot of stuff out of the nether portal when I have made it so I'm going to encase it a little bit so uh, it's a little bit harder for them to exit so I don't think I want to have it totally enclosed because if I'm getting stuck inside of it and there's a mob with me in it I don't want to be there I am going to keep my pickaxe here because I don't really feel like losing it I also don't want to lose my meth hawk but I'd rather lose my pickaxe than my meth hawk anyway I think I think I want to Grab me a uh, other pickaxe because I know I have a spare one. So uh, let me grab me really quick the pickaxe and I will see you guys on the other side because there will be some red uh, generation lag. So see you guys in a second. All right, guys, we have entered the Nether. I hope this fire isn't too loud. I think I don't think so. Last time I checked my. Oh God, why? My game volume was already really high and oh yeah, what do we have here? A chest from Gary's Nether. Uh, free loot, free loot, I love loot. Oh, Nether Watch, that's the thing I really needed. Uh, we got a cool Nether spawn, I have to say, I really love this. I only dislike the fires here, so I'm going to put them out. Uh, let's see if I can turn up the brightness. I can. So it wouldn't be too dark for you guys because that's the thing I don't want. Uh, we have a cool spawn. I generally like being in the cave. I know some people don't like it, but God, what's that? Let's see if I can grab this. I don't think we can, but let's try it anyway. Doesn't seem like it, so we will let that there. Let's see if I can. Oh God, no. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, kill it. They aren't too hard. Can we mine this? Nope. Ooh, some nether ores. Can we find some... Oh, leg spike. Can we find some cobalt? Oh, I know we need this for something, I think. Really cool. I'm really excited about this. I, I can't explain how long I've waited to... Uh, to get to the nether actually uh, okay let's start off with placing a what should we call it what shall we call it waypoint yeah oh no the skull okay that's kind of really scared me stop exploring mommy anyway let's make a waypoint really quick on us portal Okay, I'm totally fine with group. Group. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find a exit. I didn't really plan of going to the Nether this episode, 
but I'm kind of forced to. So yeah, another Undertaker. Oh yeah. I hear something that I don't really feel like comfortable with. Oh, a little leg spike. Oh, no. Uh, fire, fire. Stop burning me, please. Please. Oh. Please don't die. Okay. I lift. I lift. I didn't... Oh god, another one. There are too many of these guys. Really? I know the nether is harder, but... Is that a way out? It doesn't seem like it. I'm st I'm still... I, I, I don't know where I have to go, actually. Uh, let me go back to the nether portal and I will find my way outside from there. So see you guys in a second. Alright guys, look what I have found. Soul sand, soul sand everywhere. It was just, I just dig a tunnel up. Like there's my nether portal at the right side of it. And here is the soul sand. With all these chests. These chests are, I find, a little bit cheaty. Because they have all kind of ooh, good stuff in them. Especially early on, so I actually should next time uh, when I uh, do a mod pack with Gary's ne uh, what's my call it? Gary's Nether. I should try to go to the Nether like way faster because they have some cool stuff in them that I can use early on, like salt sand and coal and all kind of cool, cool stuff. A little bit overpowered, I have to say, but meh. It's in the mod pack, so why not uh, not abuse? Because it's not really abusing, but it's really nice to have or to get some stuff. So like the dimensional bread, baked potatoes, some leather I really need. Uh, the soles are really nice. The rest I don't really care about because I have lots of all kind of really cool stuff. Is there any anyone more? Ooh, graveyard. Some finds. There's one up. There. Let's grab that one too because I'm curious what's in it. I think I already. No, I didn't grab it yet. But uh, yeah, that's basically the Nether. It, the Nether looks really awesome if you ask me. I I, I really love what they have done to the uh, Nether Gary's uh, Nether. Get get again his Nether. I, I I always say Gary's, but I don't know why. Oh. <gasps> no. Okay. I thought that was the big one, because if you kill the big one, there's like three little ones that comes out of it. Oh yeah, cool. And some sticks. Do I need sticks? Oh, I can't put stuff back inside of it. Let's look up here, up, up here really quick. Okay. Uh, if I can get up here somehow. Slow sand. Why are you so slow? Soul sand. It's not slow sand. It just makes you slow. That doesn't mean it slow sand oh, I wish I had my silk touch now with me can we see anything else cool that we want to loot like nether fortress doesn't seem like it I do like these blue mushrooms though uh, I think I'm going to grab some uh, oh I need to eat oh no a wisp that's also a Tom Craft thing oh it despawned Anyway guys, I'm going to grab myself some glowstone because I kind of need some. I don't know where for, but uh, I always can need some. So, can I mine this? Yeah. So I'm going to mine some glowstone and uh, I think I will see you guys when I'm back at the overworld and can continue our Tomcraft journey. So, see you guys in a second. Alright guys, welcome back, welcome back. I have some soul sand, so I can start scanning that thing. Can I get some salt stuff? Cool, cool, cool. And I think I can now scan this. No. What do I need for that? I was wondering. I think a trapdoor. No, I already have scanned that. Hmm. It threw me a little bit off my... Oh, I think it was this. Yeah, that was the thing. Oh, yeah. I think I can now scan this. Nope, still wrong, still wrong. Dang it. <laughs> Let's see what we now need to do. Mortis, we have that. Chicken. I hope the eagles would do. So let's transform in a bed really quick. 
let's see, let's see if there are any eagles here. Yep, found some. Eagle. No, a chicken is not the same, dang it. Hmm. These are all eagles though, so I might have a problem here. Okay, let's see. I am going to try to scan, scan some other stuff, and if that doesn't work, eh, I have to do some other stuff maybe to... No... Beast, beast. Do we have any other animals in the nearby vicinity? I don't think so, the problem is we have all the eagles here for our eagle party, but we don't have any other animals here around. Mm, I think I have to go back to spawn really quick for that. Maybe I can... I don't know. Maybe I can get some beast stuff out of this. No. Tools. Oh, I have some tools. I'm sorry, guys. I was pretending that I was all organized. Oh. But it seems to be that I wasn't as organized as I thought I was. So, sad face panda. Study men. Men. Hmm... I have no idea. Hmm, I th think I'm going to start scanning random things then because this is going to get a nowhere for now. So, uh, let me. Oh, census. Can I? Oh, cool. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, let me scan some random stuff and I will see you guys in a second. Ah, cool. Alright, guys. I have scanned all the things. Well, not everything yet. So, there sh could be some few bips and bobs that I didn't have scanned yet. But, I think I have scanned enough for this episode. Oh. No, I have scanned for enough for this episode. <laughs> uh, let's see what our... Uh, what we have got uh, in the, all that time. Also, I also found some aura notes. Didn't uh, note them down yet. But uh, really, not again. Anyway, this is what we have got. Quite a lot, I have to say. I'm really stoked for this. Quite a lot of metallum. Some senio. Yeah. Taint. Oh, cool. I found some taint. I also found some... Uh, Totem poles and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm really stoked for that. So uh, let me sleep through the night. I will see you guys in a second. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Okay. First things first. We need ourselves a top. Really, <laughs> really. Okay. Let's try that again. No. Stop it. We first need ourselves a Tamanamakan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, cool, cool, cool. Let's grab it. Okay, cool, cool, awesome. Let's open it for the first time. Wang. The Tamanamagan is actually your guide through the magic. Let's see, let's see what's up with this thing. There are some quite cool things in there, like golems and stuff like that. Uh, aspects of magic. Check. There was a little lag spike, I'm sorry. Uh, you can see all the magic and stuff like that. And you can also see the things you have scanned for that particular aspect. So I can use a little bit more, more motors, But I think I will uh, take care of that a little bit later. Okay. Let's see. Um, I was looking through this. But I need to uh, wipe my nose. Let's say that. <laughs> Let's not go in depth into that. Uh, I definitely want to get into one phone. Oh. Apparently we are going to start with one phone. Okay. <laughs> um, you have to right click on an aspect or on a uh, research in here. And you can like put the thing in here. And you have to combine these things by combining aspects. So uh, it's basically a mini game. Uh, they haven't. Uh, give me a second. Maybe I can change that. All right, guys. Welcome back. Uh, I just needed to find something out because uh, I was looking for some options in uh, Tomcraft. Anyway, uh, let's go to the mini game. This is actually a mini game. You have to combine these two with each other. And let's see. Oh, dang it. Okay. <laughs> I just 
noticed I was missing an aspect, so I made myself some uh, gel and gelum. <laughs> anyway, um, if you want to connect uh, these two, um, you need to like uh, combine. Uh, you can uh, place anything beside them if they have um, the uh, what's we call it pretty pretty percantio permit. Picantio. I, I'm go just going to go with Picantio. If it uh, contains the Picantio aspect or if it's made from the Picantio aspect. So I happen to know that Taint, Taint, I'm just going to go call it Taint, is made from this. So you see it made a line and used a little bit of my scribing tool. So yeah, that's all fine and dandy. So it, may, it basically says fun, hey, I can work here. Okay, now I can pop down some... Um, Perditio here because that's also in it and let's see and the jello yeah, yeah yeah and this is making a complete line and now I've discovered what foci awesome yeah our first research one foci awesome and now we can go look inside of here and temperature G and now all different kind of uh, once have opened or uh, foci have opened and let's see what's this if it doesn't crash please okay so a little bit laggy if i if you just see and i kind of want to make this fire one focus so i think i can make this so yeah i only need to charge my wand a little bit because my wand is currently totally empty i I think I also have to switch maps because this map is losing all their waypoints constantly every time I load the game. So, yeah, that's kind of annoying if you <laughs> understand me. Anyway, um, let me do some uh, preparing and I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. I think this is it for this episode. It has been 30 minutes already. Jam. I didn't know the episode went so quick. I want to tell you about a one thing, uh, chat with you about a one thing before we end the episode here. Now as a YouTuber who is uh, a member of the Utopia Cubed network, has his PC fried by a lightning struck. Um, it's, uh, he, he makes awesome videos, also some tutorials about a Utopia Cubed mod pack. So uh, if you have some spare money, uh, go to the to his GoFundMe page in the description below. Um, every dollar will help out basically. So if you have some spare money, uh, please donate to him um, because uh, he's going to build a new PC uh, from it or replace the parts he needs uh, to make basically a new one. So yeah, that's the thing I wanted to tell you about. Also, if you have seen in the background or above me, actually like right there i have been busy uh, but that's more a teaser for next episode so you have to wait to that episode <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode don't forget to drop a like or anything what you feel like it on this episode and i'll see you guys at the next one bye bye